Now let's take a look at addition using our set definition. So we might have a problem prove 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 using the set definition. And again, the thing to note here is that our question is actually asking us to prove a statement using a very specific definition. So let's go ahead and put that definition down for reference. So how do we define a plus b according to the set definition? Well, that's going to start by taking two disjoint sets, a and b, and then a is going to be the cardinality of the first set, b is going to be the cardinality of the second set, and then my definition a plus b is going to be defined to be the cardinality of the union of those two sets. Now a useful thing to do in general when you're trying to use a definition is to do what's called instantiating it. And that just is a fancy word for saying we're going to substitute in the values that we're working with. So in this case, uh, we want to prove that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And so let's compare this to our definition. And if we do that, we see that we're looking for 2 plus 3. So there's where we want to end up. And given that, we see that A must be 2, B must be 3. And we'll work our way a little bit backwards here. So I want to define what 2 plus 3 is. So I'll take two disjoint sets. 2 is the cardinality of the one. 3 is the cardinality of the other. And 2 plus 3 is the cardinality of their union. Now to complete the proof, we actually need to identify what these sets are. So let's see if we can find them. And to make things easier, we can fall back on a somewhat general rule. Anything that's part of a definition, we can find it without really commenting or explaining it for the purposes of a proof. And so in this case, our definition actually refers to several ideas, the cardinality of A, the cardinality of B, and the cardinality of the union of the two sets. And so what this means is that we can find, without having to explain them uh, or comment on how we found them, all of these things, cardinality of A, cardinality of B, cardinality of the union, and we can find all of these from A, B, and whatever the union of the two sets is. Now that does mean we have to start with two disjoint sets that have those cardinalities. So let's think about that for a minute. I could use, well, how about this set? A is the set consisting of A and B, and B is the set consisting of A, B, and C. And, well, actually that doesn't work. These are not disjoint sets. The two sets have to be disjoint. I can't use these two sets. Well, how about this set? So I'm going to modify that. B is going to be C, D, E, and F. And there I have two sets. They're definitely disjoint. They don't have anything in common except, uh, again, for purposes of my definition, I need 2 to be the cardinality of the first and 3 to be the cardinality of the second. And a cardinality of the second set is not equal to 3. So we'll try one more time. How about making our second set C, D, and E? And let's check our conditions. Uh, are they disjoint sets? And we can see that the sets do not have any elements in common, so we're good. Uh, we also need 2 to be the cardinality of A, and it is. 3 to be the cardinality of B, and again, it is. So we're all set to go, and that means I can use these. And so according to our definition, 2 is going to be the cardinality of A union B. And we do want to include that. So A union B, that's the union of the two sets. And that's going to be the cardinality of that. And what do we know about the cardinality of that? Well, again, in this definition, we have referred to the idea of cardinality. And so here we have the cardinality of this set. I don't have to comment on how I can find that. That's just going to be equal to 5. And so again, joining first line to last line, I have my proof that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 using the set definition of addition. Now, one final note, what do we need to include to have a complete answer to the statement? What we have to do is we have to include everything that is in green. So all of this is our answer to the question, prove using the set definition of addition. Anything less is not a complete answer.